all healing. For example, we can measure what happens when one person is praying for another and see if there are changes. Most often what we see on the electroencephalogram, or EEG, is an increase in alpha or theta rhythm, indicating a deeper sense of harmony or relaxation. Actually, what we're seeing with prayer is physiological evidence of stress reduction, both chemical and electrical. And stress reduction allows the body to heal itself. There have been four major studies in recent years looking at the effects of prayer in the hospital and the clinic. If what had been looked at in these studies had been not prayer, but a new medication or a new surgical procedure, these studies would have been heralded as modern medical breakthroughs, and people would have been lined up down the block to get their hands on this stuff. Adding to this new era of medicine is a recent Nobel Prize winning discovery that may change forever the way we think of medicine. Dr. Alfred Gilman from the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center and his colleagues found that cells communicated through radio frequencies. The suspected site of transduction was the cell walls. For his research, he and his colleagues received the Nobel Prize in 1994. Dr. Gilman's discovery has been called the single most important unifying concept in modern day biology. And it appears to validate the basis of a healing art that is more than 4,000 years old. Is this acceptable scientific validation? An ancient Chinese proverb says, a wise man learns from experience a wiser man learns from the experience of others. Could it be that we are finally learning to take seriously all the wisdom that surrounds us? As we begin this new millennium, we are already benefiting from research steeped in cutting edge science, techniques that would have been impossible just a few short years ago. Paradoxically, perhaps, there continues to be a growing interest among consumers and scientists alike in alternative methods of healing and a return to more natural ways of maintaining a healthy body. Could it be that we are about to discover the greatest healing aid of all, an open mind? Is you.